So um, if you have WAN op and you want SD-WAN, you better make sure they're working together. You got a problem if you have a WAN op device is optimizing packets, sending it to your uh, software-defined gateway. They don't talk the same language. So app centricity end-to-end -end requires that they're communicating that application identification end-to-end. Uh, -end. That's what we built. Um, and what's available today, um, if you go to the website, you're going to start to see the beginnings of the collateral around this appliance that's generally available worldwide, um, like a data sheet, et cetera. But there are three models of, um, of, of the Steelhead SD that are basically uh, cousins to the CX line. So the 570, uh, 770, and 3070 now have a, an SD equivalent. Um, We've had a lot of success even in Q4. I don't have time to go through these stories, but um, manufacturing, healthcare, and retail are leveraging this appliance to get the benefits of both app performance and SD-WAN. But you know what, it's, it's, if we go back one slide, I'm gonna just jump in here because the retail is interesting because boatload of them and not a high-tech IT person at every one of those thousand sites. So we have retailers rolling, getting ready to roll this out because I can just turn on the box and all my rules are there. Right, that easy button. Uh, so it's a perfect ready-made solution for retail, um, and you'll hear more about that as we make public announcements. Um, and these are brand names, right? These are not, you know. And the market's the market's happening. I mean, it's a fun time to be in networking, right? With the cloud and all the stuff that's going on. You know, these are fi close to 500 sites, thousand sites, over a thousand sites of types of deployments that uh, that are being adopted with this technology now, and. If you, if you have a one-box fetish, as my, my boss likes to <laughs> say, you go with Steelhead SD. But it's, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you do a dual-box solution, they're still going to communicate that same application identification between them. And of course, what you saw in the cloud is that we're plumbing that in for you as well. So one-box, dual-box cloud, and actually missing from the slide is the data center that you saw, because that interceptor device is going to do all the right plumbing between your WAN-OP devices and the and the steelheads in the, in the data center. So quick question, yeah. is there a, if you want to run the SD and the CX as individual appliances, is that just because of preference or is there a point where the SD isn't going to do it and you have to separate it? I think it's basically you have a, you have a lot of a choice. Um, to there, There's not many reasons uh, that limit you from that choice. Um, there's a few things, you know, uh, the talk with the with the SE that's supporting you that that uh, that may it's, it's really from a, a topology choice, standpoint right? it's just a design choice. Yeah. Okay. You know, if you have if you have a, if you have a CX that's sitting there today, if you want to add uh, an SDI right in front of it, you can. The other option is you can get an upgrade kit to add additional RAM onto that CX device, and now it's got enough horsepower to uh, to run the SD-WAN as well. But if you're going in greenfield, there's never a point where you'd say the SD is not going to have enough horsepower. I need to no. add a CX. No. In fact, when those when the CX appliances were delivered, you know the, they were built to support enough of that hybrid WAN functionality that was running in Rios. Um, we do want the additional RAM for the richer set of services now that are available with the Steel Connect Virtual Gateway, which is effectively running on that box. Okay.